What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here. As you can tell from the title, today I'm talking about my antique collection. It's kind of small, only got three antique, uh, two bayonets and one uh, sword here. So um, maybe you guys can give me a little uh, a lesson if any of you know anything about these or anything more than I do. Um, I'll just give you the history of these and uh, I need to run the, my history, I shouldn't say not the history behind each blade. I don't really know the history too well, um, but uh, definitely always willing to learn if anyone knows anything more than I do on these. <laughs> All I can tell you though is I did look these up and uh, uh, we'll start from each one here. So let's start with the uh, first one here. This one here is uh, the first bayonet. It's a French bayonet. Um, I picked this up probably when I was about 13, 14 from a gun, uh, the gun show near me. And uh, pretty unique blade, pretty unique blade. Look at that thing. You know, not too bad. Um, has that kind of weird recurve. I love that fat fuller they have put in it. Pretty crazy. And this here, it does uh, have stamping on it. You know, again, I don't know the value of these or anything like that, but you can see there, if that's picking it up. And it does have some writing here on the spine of the blade. Now, I don't know if I'll make that out. I think it might be French. Um, but it does have a date on there. And the date does say, let's see if it's probably this way, right? The date says 1872, I believe. No, 1873. So, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. You know, let's see if I pick it up here. But, uh, yeah, you know, this one is pretty cool. Um, I have no idea what I paid for this. Again, I was probably like 13, 14 years old when I bought this first one. This next one here, kind of cool. Another cool one, old school as well. This one here comes, you can tell by the <laughs> original leather there on that thing. Uh, that's how well it was built back in the day. It has a B on there. I don't know what that B stands for. I don't know if it was the... Uh, the soldier's initial maybe stamped on there, the, the maker of that, or I'm not too sure. You can tell he's beat up to hell. Sometimes it uh, makes you wonder the history of these. I mean, what they've been through, who, who had them, and, you know, how they got passed down to who, and before the guy who sold it to me, you know, how, uh, what he did. You know, these, when I bought these, I remember both these are bought from two different uh, people at the guns, uh, different times too, at the, at the um, gun show. And they're both older gentlemen, like in their 80s, so... Who knows the history behind these, you know? And this one here, it says it's an Argentinian blade. Argentina, from Argentina. And I don't know if it's picking it up or not. That's what it says right there. It says, it says Modelo Argentino 1891. So this one's made in 1891. And that has some, I don't know, some Spanish writing on it right there. I don't know if it's picking it up either. Another old school bayonet here. And uh, cool looking. Pretty cool looking. Now these are have a lot of history here on these ones. This one does have a serial number. I don't know if any of you guys can tell me about that. How old this one is? You know, I see these online from on eBay. You can find them still for like two hundred, you know, one hundred fifty to two hundred bucks, depending on the obviously the shape of them. These ones look not too bad of shape. Um, but these ones bring back a lot of memories for me, just because you know I would always go with my dad to the gun uh, to the to the gun shows, and mainly at that time, you know, we were. You know, we I was I, I personally got into firearms a lot later in life, but my father was just more morally into like, you know, these style. Uh, you know, he likes the knives and, and swords, and of course history. You know, he's he's a history buff, so he likes he he liked these type of blades here, these older old school blades, and you know I like them too. You know, and you just imagine like I said, the history behind these is, is pretty crazy. So let me get to the last one here. The last one here. This is uh the actual scabbard is uh, the sheath is uh original but this i had made this uh, here from a leathers leather shop near me uh the frogs just so you know they didn't come with one so i was like oh, i'll make one for it and it looks pretty damn good <laughs> looks pretty original so this one here is an artillery sword it looks like and this one's here made in massachusetts this is a united states one now this i'm not sure if it's a reproduction or original the other two i'm almost positive I'm like 99 percent sure they're original these this one here might be because it's pretty good the ones i see online and on ebay this looks this one looks too good to be a new one, I have seen it, but what I was gonna say is a reproduction, I usually see it stamped on the blade, reproduction or somewhere reproduction, or it's 100% plain. This one does have markings on it, so I don't know if this is just a really good condition, older one, or if this is a reproduction that they just did a really good job on, but here's the, I like how they did that too, so 
Again, it says MS Massachusetts uh, Artillery Sword that was issued. So awesome, man. It's a beautiful piece. I love that, how it looks here with the, you got the eagles or on each side and embossed into it. And then uh, the grip is like uh, scales or or uh, some sort of, I guess it has to be scales or something, but it's it's awesome. The grip feels good on it. Um, has the eagle right there. It looks kind of like a chicken. <laughs> it's kind of getting faded there, but it has an eagle there. And then uh, this side on the, it says MS right there. Pretty cool. And then it also has markings on this part here. Let me see if I can read it. This one here says M. What does it say? Let me see. M-P-L-O-R-D. So, I mean, these, this has markings on the inside here. So I'm not too sure, again, if this is a reproduction or if this is actually uh, an original. But nonetheless, I got it years ago. Again, I got this when I was 15, 16 years old. Again, at a gun, <laughs> at the gun show. Um, God, there, it's supposed to be a stick tang of some kind. But pretty neat, pretty neat, you know? And I love the... How they, uh, they, the detail they put in these these blades, you know. Um, I do have them coated right now in oil, just because I'm pretty sure they're old, old style metal. They're nothing, no, no, uh, no stainless steel. I don't think back in those days. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I love how they do the double fullers here into the single fuller. But yeah, this is just gonna be a little short video on my uh, my three blades here, my antiquers, my old school ones. Um, I always thought they were cool. Even when I was young, I thought they were cool and I held on to them ever since then. And, you know, um, I'm definitely into more of the modern stuff, you know, more of the, the newer version blades, but, um, it's always good to keep a piece of history, you know, uh, with you as well. And, you know, learn, I would like to learn more about these. I'm probably going to read up on them more, you know, I, I think I did years ago, but you know, you, you don't use it, you lose it. And I think I forgot what all these, uh, the history behind these, but, uh, It'd be fun to, to look back up and learn now that I'm older again. Take a look at this. So, all right, YouTube. Please like and subscribe. Until next knife, gun, or whatever.